Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to use the new Parallax 2D in Godot 4.3. Then we'll eventually replace the Parallax background and Parallax layer nodes. Parallax allows you to have groups of background and foreground objects move at different speeds as the camera moves, giving a more 3D look to a side-scrolling game. Parallax 2D is still experimental, so how to use it may change in the future. The big differences with the old Parallax nodes are that you don't need a Parallax background to make the layers children of. You will just add a Parallax 2D for each group you want to move together. And Parallax 2D does not inherit from a canvas layer. This means that items in a Parallax 2D will all be part of the same canvas layer as the rest of your scene, meaning that they will all be affected by one canvas modulate and by lighting without having to adjust anything. So we will add a child node to the scene and choose a Parallax 2D. We'll move it up to the top right under the sky. We'll name it Parallax Stars and move the star background under it. To change the speed at which a parallax moves, change the scroll scale. Anything less than one scrolls slower than the camera, like objects in the distance. And anything greater than one scrolls faster, as if it is closer to the camera than the rest of the scene. So we can have different background and foreground elements moving at different speeds, based on how close they would be to the camera, to give the screen an illusion of 3D depth. The next part we need to change is the repeat size. If either of these values is zero, the items in the Parallax 2D will not repeat on that axis. Putting a value will make the items repeat that interval apart on the axis. When we run the scene, we can see stars disappearing as we move, which is not what we want. To fix this, we will increase the repeat times. We'll add another parallax with a layer of trees and set its speed to above that of the stars and an additional tree layer that is closer and set its speed even higher. We'll add some foreground elements. Since everything appears on the screen in the order it appears here, unless we change the z-index, we'll put the foreground parallaxes after everything else. We have a well and we don't want it to repeat, so we will keep repeat size at zero. We'll set the scroll scale to 1.1. We'll add another layer with mushrooms and vegetation. You may also be wondering what auto scroll is. This is useful if you have something like clouds that you want to move independently from the camera. To demonstrate, we'll add a parallax with clouds, give it a repeat size of 2000 on the x axis, and set auto scroll to negative 20 on the x axis. This will make the clouds move while we sit still. And now we have layers of parallax items that move at different speeds to look more 3D. If you would like to see how to make the day-night cycle in this video, you can watch that here. And if you found this helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.